guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Friday, October 28th. I can't believe it's already the end of the month, but today is also the last Friday before Halloween, which means it's Frankenstein Friday. <laughs> Every year, the last Friday before Halloween is a holiday <laughs> for Mary, Sh Mary Shelley, who wrote the original Frankenstein's Monster um, book. So I love that because I love that book. I love Frankenstein for some reason. I've noticed a lot of us uh, on YouTube uh, and plus a lot of people, you know, everywhere connect with Frankenstein's monster. Um, I think cause he's more, he's portrayed more as like a human, uh, like an innocent cause he's more innocent in the story of Frankenstein, you know, he's not the bad guy, but, um, anyway, so it's Frankenstein Friday and I wanted to come on here and celebrate. So I did make a new Aaron Groomy. I think I make a Frankenstein every year. <laughs> um, a lot of times it's things that I give away to people. But I have, I collected three of my Frankensteins, including the new one I made. And then I also took a picture of my Frankenstein uh, vase. <laughs> and it's originally from TJ Maxx, I believe, the sticker says, but I got it at a thrift store. <laughs> and then I also took a picture of the one, the Frankenstein monster who was recently gifted to me. And I'll insert the vase and the gifted one here in a minute somewhere. <laughs> but here is the, my most recent Franking. He is a free pattern. He's also a paper pattern. You can buy them or get them for free. Just the free version is spread out over the blog. You know, it's a really long scrolly thing and there's a lot of ads. So I would, actually, if you really wanted to make it, um, just buy it. It's like $2. <laughs> but uh, he is free by Super Guru Me. I've made a couple of their Amigurumis before. They all kind of look the same. They're just, you know, their features and stuff are different to uh, be different people. <laughs> but here he is. Ta -da! I put a smile on his face. The original one didn't have a face or a mouth at all, but I thought he needed a little crooked smile because he, you know, make him look a little bit friendlier. <laughs> but he is so cute. Look at his little bolts. Those are like big French knots, which I'm not good at making, but this is going to be decoration. So, um, none of the kids, because his mouth and his bolts are not like sewn in there. They're just kind of stuck through. Uh, so, but he'll be up on a shelf, so. Well, actually, he'll be living in a box most of the time, but around Halloween season, he'll be in a shelf. But he's so adorable, is he not? I made him in one day. I made all his pieces one <laughs> morning, and then, you know, I'd laugh and stuff. And then that evening, I put all his pieces together. So, I made Frankenstein. <laughs> uh, technically, you know, like, I actually made him <laughs> out of body parts. <laughs> but for the yarn, I used Red Heart Super Saver Spring Green. Uh, this is Scrap Balls of Black, and it's two different blacks. I don't know if you can tell it or not, because I can't. One was Red Heart, and one, I believe, was... Um, Premier Just Yarn from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> uh, I could tell they were different when I was working with them, but, I, you know, it's not a big deal. It's a Frankenstein. And then the little gray, I'm not sure what that color is called, but it's a red heart scrap that I had. Uh, and there, he's made a lot of pieces. So if you don't like pieces, you wouldn't like this. <laughs> his head, his body and his head are one piece, but then he's got two legs, two arms, his little uh, jacket, part of it, his ears and his hair and his eyebrow <laughs> are all separate pieces. His nose, I, I just like embroidered on there. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But he's so cute. So this is my new one. I'll link him down below. And I use 12 millimeter safety eyes. I'm pretty sure they're 12 millimeter. And he's so cute. I just love him. And then this is actually one that I made a few years ago. And this, I didn't use a pattern. I had intended on writing a pattern for it and I never got around to doing it. So uh, I do remember I held yarn double for him, but I don't remember what I did. But that's, you know, I always try to make them cute. <laughs> little uh frankenstein head that i just made he's got dust on him he's been set on my shelf all halloween season and then this one i made probably three or four years ago he's dusty as well let me dust him off <laughs> um this is a free pattern by maria's blue crown i'm pretty sure right now i'm second guessing myself can't remember if it's maria's blue crown or underground crafter i'm pretty sure it's maria's blue crown i'll link it below though Got a phone call. <laughs> I'll link it below. But he is cute. He's made like a rag doll. I made him years and years ago. I think it was 2017 or 18 when I made him. So it's been a while. He's got dust on his head. But he sets in my living room around Halloween time. But those are my little Frankensteins. And then I did, I hope I inserted the pictures <laughs> that I took of my vase and my, um, the one that was gifted to me. And then I also have my beautiful Frankenstein book that I love to pull out and just flip through. I got this at, um, Ollie's. Uh, I think it's called Ollie's Bargain Hunt or something like that. <laughs> Um, a few years ago. I just love it. It's got, it's the whole, it's not the book of Frankenstein, but it's like the story, you know, of Frankenstein through the years. It's got all about all the, uh, the movies that were made about him, TV shows, and it's got, 
uh, about how like Tim Burton was um, inspired a lot by the book and it's got like the dolls and things that was uh, you know based off of Frankenstein slightly so it's really cool I love this book and in the back actually there's a pocket that's got some old movie posters and things like that in it these things right here are in the back I'm saving them and I don't want to get them out and unfold them because I don't want them to get weak because I want to eventually frame them and then hang them up this is a really cool book it's called Vault of Frankenstein 200 years of the world's most famous monster uh, featuring replicas of monster memorabilia and it's by Paul uh, Rudin, Ruditus? <laughs> Ruditus? I don't know how to say that but if I can find this on Amazon or something I will link it in case you're interested in purchasing it but it's really cool I, f I just like to flip through and like read random parts of it about um, the different movies and things it's just really cool and all the pictures are really neat and um, it's just fun it's got like really nice spreads in it really cool i like it a lot but uh yeah so i just wanted to come on here and celebrate frankenstein day because i know a lot of us love frankenstein <laughs> and um i know it's frankenstein's monster but everybody refers to him as frankenstein um because frankenstein was indeed the the doctor who created him but um it's just easier to say frankenstein instead of frankenstein's monster and frankie you know a lot of people come frankie and stuff so it all goes but he's just adorable i love my little frankies this is a different yarn I'm pretty sure this is old spring green because when I made this, I only shopped at like Walmart and stuff to get yarn. I don't even think I hadn't been to Hobby Lobby yet when I made this. You can tell he's old because he's got like, I don't know if you can see it, but he's got like a really a halo from where he's been, you know, moved around a lot over years. Jess used to play with him all the time. He's taking him in the car to places. But these are both spring green. I'm pretty sure this is old spring green. You know, I, I think I do remember it being really bright. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, they're both adorable. It doesn't matter. And then there's the other one. <laughs> That's a different color, too. <laughs> That's weird. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure those are all supposed to be... I know this is spring green because I got it out of a spring green cake. And I know this is spring green. But they're different. You know, I know different dollars. Anyways, I'm blabbing. But, <laughs> but uh, so happy Frank and Sunday. And I hope you make a monster today. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to take this out earlier, but I've been busy all day. And I just got done cooking dinner, so I thought I'd come in here and chill for a minute and record. So, that is my Frankenstein for today. This person, Super Groomy, the website has a ton of cute little amigurumis, the same exact size. Theirs is made with, um, like a 2.75 millimeter hook and a little tiny yarn. Because theirs came out like it would fit in the palm of your hand. <laughs> but I use worsted weight yarn and an elf hook, uh, 3.75. So, mine is bigger, and I like it that way. <laughs> But he's adorable. I might leave him out all year. I might set him somewhere in here in the bedroom so I can just admire him all year. <laughs> but that is my little freaking sun Friday for you guys. I hope you guys are having a good uh, week and it's almost the weekend. I'm so excited to do all the Halloween things with my kids and my husband. And he's off work all weekend so it's perfect. It lined up just perfectly. Uh, and our nine year anniversary of being together is on Tuesday, the 1st of November. So that's really exciting that we get to celebrate the Halloween our anniversary and then go straight into Christmas time. Uh, I was already listening to Christmas music earlier on our record player because I have a bunch of old records of um, Christmas music and I need to thin them out a little bit. So I was trying to listen to them to see which ones I really liked so I, I can donate <laughs> the ones that I don't really listen to. Um, so yeah, I mean, Jesse was listening to Christmas music this morning on the record player, <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. I love doing that on the record player because it's so nostalgic sounding, you know, it makes me feel like I'm in one of those old movies. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but anyways, I'm talking my head off now, so I'm going to go help up here, and I'll see you guys for Vlogtober day 30 tomorrow? 29. Tomorrow, tomorrow's 29th. Um, and maybe some other videos. Who knows? <laughs> I guess. Mm -hmm.